Welcome back to AM Kentucky. Stuff the Bus Executive Director Megan Segrist is here to talk about the big Stuff the Bus live event. Megan, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me as always. Yes. I appreciate you all having us on to talk about everything we have going on. Oh, I, and you have a lot going on. First yes. of all, I cannot believe it's already time for Stuff the Bus. I know. It's it always, has been. This year has flown by. <laughs> yes. It's always an exciting time. And uh, kids, yeah, whether you want to admit it or not, school is coming. But it is. This this, with this event, you all really try to help kids get ready for school. Tell yes, me a little yes. Bit about and our stuff mission is level the playing field for every student across South Central Kentucky. And what that means is we just want every student to walk in the first day of school prepared and on the same playing field as every other student. Because if you walk in that first day and you don't have the pencils you need, the backpack you need, mm -hmm. you're going to go in with that added anxiety. And we want every kid yeah. to have the same opportunity to learn. Yeah, and, and that kind of sets the tone too for yeah. for the the school year. And yes. you want your first day to be great yes, and have for everything sure. you need. Walk in proudly with all your your new school stuff. Yeah, and so stuff the bus. Uh, tell me about that event. So we, this year we are celebrating our 20th anniversary. So this is nice. going to be 20 years of stuff and buses. And I know a lot has changed over those years. Um, but we are celebrating with the Bowling Green Area Chamber of Commerce ribbon cutting on the 26th at 11. It will be in that same grassy lot that we set in for our live event on the 27th. Mm -hmm. So it's the 26th at 11 a.m. our ribbon cutting. And then on the 27th we will be there all day, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. collecting school supplies, donations, anything that that anybody's willing to bring, donate, help a student with their first day of school. Yeah, and, and it really is uh, fun to be a part of this whole event. Yeah. And now you're the new executive director. Does that mean you're going to be spending the night on the bus until it is full? I have <laughs> begged Tony to sleep on the bus this year. I'm like, Tony, let's do it. It's been 20 years. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's 100% in. this year. I don't think he's 100% in. <laughs> Maybe next year. But what kind of supplies are you looking for? So anything. And I tell people all the time, of course, we have, you'll see on our social medias, and we have a dedicated suggestion list, but anything. And mm -hmm. I think you got to think out of the box. There's so many things those family resource coordinators needs need outside of school supplies, uh, you know, socks, yeah. coats, that you know, too. everything is included outside of even just the normal school supply. And monetary donations, you're happy yes. to take those and you and can take those the day of the event too. And Probably yes. any other time as well. Yes, and then it's also summer of giving right now, the whole month of July at all Houchins Food Group locations in South Central Kentucky. You can round up your purchase to the nearest dollar or you can purchase oh, one of those great. bus mobiles mm -hmm. to hang on the windows. And I love going in every Shell station and Ace Hardware, seeing those all over the place. But 100% of that money stays in the county where it was purchased. Okay, good, good. Um, so that's always nice to hear. Um, so how many kids do you expect or do you help out every year on the average? <sighs> I can't even begin to, I mean, Just hundreds. It, oh, thousands and thousands. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine um, something new we started was teacher classroom grants mm -hmm. and it has been a huge game changer for us. So if teachers say a teacher has been in a math classroom with third graders for 10 years and then she gets moved to a, an English classroom with second graders most teachers are going to pay out of their pocket because they want all of their students right. to have everything they have. Right. And so teacher classroom grants are a great way for Stuff the Bus to step in and help that teacher stock her classroom and help that teacher have what she needs to give her students a great education. Wow, Stuff the Bus, such a great organization. We're so happy to be a part of it. And the Stuff the Bus live event is Saturday, July 27th at Crossroads IGA on Scottsville Road from 6A to 6P. Plenty of time to drop off. Uh, all your school supplies to be donated. And for more information, go to Stuff the Bus Foundation on Facebook or go to StuffTheBusKY.com. We'll be right back.